Hi, my name is Katarzyna Kanyokova. I'm an educator and consultant in the field of upper opportunities, gender and diversity and work-life balance policy. In this video, we'll discuss diversity management. Before I get to it, I would like to mention the concept of diversity. Diversity means heterogeneity and variety. It is not that diversity is tolerant of differences. It's not that diversity tolerates equivalence and differences. It views differences positively. This means that we we are all equal in our differences. Diversity has also an economic and social benefit and represents a clear competitive advantage. We need diversity management in order to be able to establish, enforce and manage diversity. Diversity management, what does it mean? Diversity management is a tool to establish, enforce and manage diversity. Diversity management is a way to discover and demonstrate the human potential and utilize it to its maximum. Diversity management affects the entire corporate strategy and influences the corporate culture, creates acceptance of trust, tolerance, respect, humility and esteem. Diversity management, with its wide range effects both the human resources management and the corporate marketing and PR, and as I said, the entire corporate culture. Why to establish diversity management? Diversity is not only a trend in the contemporary society, but is also a necessity and a must. The reason is that the whole Europe is globalized, the labor market is globalized, people move, migrate, and various culture and national ethnic blend. People with various differences, with various opinions, with various experiences meet. In addition, the European Union is aging. This is clearly indicated by demographic figures. The European Union is aging from the top and from the bottom of the age pyramid, due to the fact that thanks to the affordable healthcare, people live longer, while fewer children are born. Europe and the European Union have a high percentage of vulnerable groups in the labor market. These groups include, on the one hand, young people graduate from high schools and universities who make up a large percentage of Europe's unemployed. Another vulnerable group are women, who in some countries have low employment rate. Another group at risk are people with disabilities, people at the age of 50, 55 plus. These are all important arguments which show the necessity of introducing diversity into the companies. The diversity management is economically and socially beneficial. It is a journey for all. Diversity management actually opens its arm to all vulnerable groups in the labor market. The diversity management is therefore essential and key so that all human potential can be fully utilized. Diversity management is about starting how the diversity really can be actively promoted. Considering the arguments about why promote diversity management, is it to be noted that theory is not enough for establishment of diversity and diversity management? It is necessary to change the whole mindset completely. So why establish diversity management? If it could use the motto that grabs everything, we all create one common team with our differences, not despite them. We are all equal in our differences. Diversity management categories. To make the diversity management truly beneficial, useful, efficient and in the first place successful, it needs to be most effectively connected directly to the strategy of the given company. As already mentioned, diversity management is a complex of managerial skills, abilities, which interferes with its range, not only the management of human resources, but also affects the corporate culture, influences the company strategy and affect the corporate marketing and PR of the company. Diversity management is divided in four dimensions into four basic categories. This is organizational category, whereas other categories include external, internal and personal categories. The first of four categories is the organizational category. This category relates to the place, workload, the working environment and the work position. The second category is external. The external category relates to language, nationality, income, parenthood, marital status, and it also relates to the appearance. The third category is internal. This category applies to gender, nationality, age, health conditions, social orientation. It relates to various religious or other beliefs. 
The fourth and the last category of diversity management is a category of personality. And that applies to every one individual in particular, his personality, his individuality, his unintelligibility and his identity. Proceeding the establishing diversity management, when should it be applied? So that the diversity management is truly effective, successful and meaningful, already the very preparation of the process of implementation and deployment is necessary and crucial. The communication is crucial in the implementation of the diversity management. It is important to look at the whole project, at the implementation of diversity management and all groups of people concerned, the diversity neutral optics. Look without prejudice. It is also necessary to change thinking. The basis for the introduction of diversity management is to start with differences and respect for each person and each individual in particular. So what are the steps in the implementation of diversity management? On the whole, there are six steps. The first step is the coordination and management committee, which is responsible for the entire process. The second step is the creation of scenarios and phases for the further development. The first step is to determine the vision and strategy of the company. The fourth step is the tool for establishing diversity, diversity audit. Within fifth step, it is necessary to deal with corporate goals and the sixth step is the true implementation of diversity management. Coordination and implementation steering committee should have a clear mandate for the company's management. It should be itself the true diversity team, composed of all possible groups of people who have different experiences and different opinions. It should get a clear mandate to be able to establish additional activities, to become a center for communication, to be able to coordinate all things that diversity management is properly applied. The second step is the scenario for future development of the company and further phasing. At this stage, the coordination and management team should meet people from all departments of the company as well as the management team of the company and implement a workshop and brainstorming on how the company is going to further develop and what all needs to be included in the diversity management. In this case, it is assumed that this workshop is attended by the management of the company itself because it is crucial as this workshop and this brainstorming will result in further step which is the vision and strategy of the company, which, which way will be diversity management and the company taken further. The third step is the vision and strategy of the company. In this step, the mission, vision and goals and strategy of the company that emerge from the brainstorming and workshop, which we discussed in the second step, are implemented, adjusted and prepared. All this is important in order to pray the basis and to begin to implement the diversity management. When there is a corporate strategy, if there is a clear consensus between the company management and other members of the coordination and the implementation team, then it is important to describe the existing situation in the company and then for a diversity audit needs to be done. Diversity audit is therefore obviously next step and is very important because diversity audit is a kind of in-depth probe which maps the current situation of, in the area of diversity. The next step consists of corporate goals. These corporate goals should be based on the recommendations and findings of diversity audit and also the corporate strategy which was previously named and identified. Based on these corporate objectives, it is then possible to proceed to the step number Number six, which is finally the implementation of diversity management. Within the implementation of diversity management, the role of this coordinating and organizing team is crucial. Since the implementation team coordinates, supervises everything, and just both internal and external documents, and on conducts public education, it is a kind of a communication center. What are the benefits of the diversity management? Diversity management has benefit for society, for individuals and businesses in social and economic terms. As already mentioned, diversity management means a competitive advantage. Specifically, the benefits of diversity management for individuals consist in the fact that they are open the door to them in the labor market, that it accepts them as they are, it perceives their differences positively. This is a huge importance for that individual because vulnerable groups in the labor market can in this way get out of the economic passivity to the economic activity. 
diversity management jednoznačně posiluje. And what are diversity management benefits for the company and society? The active diversity management clearly strengthens the corporate culture, reputation and company's image. It uses the potential of all employees. The active diversity management clearly increases satisfaction, motivation and loyalty of employees. It also improves the relationship with the employees, suppliers and the end customers. Ten important points to remember. Diversity management, a tool for promotion of diversity, which affects the whole corporate culture and perceives diversity as an added value. Diversity management is an important strategy of human resources management. It creates an atmosphere of trust, acceptance, tolerance, respect, humility and esteem. Diversity management focuses on future and works to realize the potential of all people. Diversity management is divided into four main categories – organizational, external, internal and personality. Within the diversity management, it is necessary to start from the basis of diversity, which is the personality. It is important to respect and appreciate each personality and to utilize their potential. Actions of establishing the diversity management. First, establishment of working group for diversity. Two, synchronizing activities. 3. Modification of visions and strategies. 4. Audit diversity. 5. Setting targets in relation to the audit. 6. Specific actions by management. Audit diversity is a type of the social audit and the depth probe into the company's existing system, which maps the diversity within the company and proposes a conceptual solution for the introduction of diversity. The open communication is important within diversity management, without prejudice and especially personal, both inside the company and outwards. Benefits of diversity management for individuals gives them respect and chances, increases their opportunities of asserting in the labor market. Benefits of diversity management for companies social, societal and economic benefit and competitive advantage, full development of working potential of all groups of people.